Yeah, we are at uh, Japan's Sky Tree Tower, the tallest tower in the world, with uh, Mr. Ryuchi Nishizawa of, uh, of Westone. And here we are on the, uh, the final few meters, walking to the, uh, the Westone offices with Mr. Ryuchi Nishizawa to conduct our interview today on the 17th of September, 2013. It's about 20 to 12 in the morning. Quite a warm, sunny day. And here we are coming up to the entrance. Thank you very much. Here we are at the front door to the Westone offices, being invited inside by the, uh, the company co-founder. Here we are at the Westone offices. We've been uh, granted our own interview room. And here you can see on the, uh, the shelf, they have a collection of uh, various Westone developed games. And also a series of uh, toy models. And there, of course, is the, uh, the character model from Monster World 4. And so I wanted to bring you a gift which was distinctly British, but would also have special meaning for you. This is for the uh, ZX Spectrum. It's a British microcomputer first released in the early 1980s, I believe 1983. So perhaps it's equivalent to the PC6001 in Japan or other old computers. Yes. That would be a loose analog uh, with regards to computers. Interestingly, it comes on a uh, uh, magnetic audio cassette tape. Mm. So when, when you load the game to play it, you have to let the entire tape play through all the data and it's quite slow to load it into the memory. I didn't know at all that this was uh, marketed. Okay. I think Sega must have sub-licensed it to Activision in the UK. I have a video on my laptop which we can watch of the game running. Mm. Oh no, Is wait. this for emulation? Oh no, I downloaded vi a video of YouTube, so it's oh. someone else. Movie. Yeah. A movie, that's it. This is the Monster Land. Yes. So this is. I didn't know that there were people playing our games this way. You weren't even born, were you? Oh, I was born when uh, Monster Land came out, and the first Famicom game I played was Takahashi Meiji no Broken Jin which was the Hudson adaptation of Mr. Nishizawa's first game, Wonderworld. So, in effect, the first game <coughs> I played was Mr. Nishizawa's game. That's why Nishizawa's game was born when I first played the game. Very honored.
This is a gift from, uh, from England. I wanted to bring something which was uh, distinctly British, but which would have a special meaning for you. Oh! <laughs> chocolate? Not chocolate? Chocolate from yesterday. Chocolate? No, chocolate. It's matcha. It's a strider for the. Uh, the Commodore 64. Can I put on The what? 64? The Commodore 64. I keep this? Can I keep this? Oh, yes, yeah, please. Oh, that's yeah. a. That's, uh, it's. Um, the Commodore 64 was a, uh, a small British microcomputer, mm -hmm. and uh, the games came with cassette tape. Yeah. あの、それで再生するカセットです。あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、
これ、こういうの人に作らせると、なぜ、おあの、こういう銅像かとか、なんで車があるかとか、説明しなきゃいけないんで、If I ask someone else to draw、uh, the objects or background, I have to explain to them why do we need a statue here, why do we need a car here?、Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't have to write anything、uh, if I draw it myself. Now, is this controller strong enough?、Um. <laughs> <laughs> How many, how, many,、uh, how many gamers or, or writers can say that、uh, their controller was broken by the legendary maker of Strider? Strider, the one that's sticking up, the creator of the one that's sticking up, 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 the one that's stic